Okay guys, so today we are going to be using the Betty Crocker Devil's Food Cake Mix and it's so good, it's devilish. So that's what we're going to be using today. So all we need to add is eggs, oil, water and icing. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to open this up and it's going to smell chocolatey. Yep, so chocolatey and we're just going to pour it all into the mixing bowl. And we're actually going to use two packets. We're going to make a really, really large cake today. So I'm going to show you guys how to make one bit and then I'm going to do the rest myself. Then we're going to uh, add the vegetable oil in. There we go. And we're going to add the three eggs. Oh, gross. Okay, and now we're going to mix that all up so it's really, really easy. So we're just going to put this into my lovely KitchenAid mixer. And we're going to lock that in. And we're going to cook this, or cook it, whisk it on low for until it's nice and smooth anyway. So let's do that. So guys, we forgot to add in the water to the mix, so we're going to do that right now. So it's 280 mils, but it's all on the Betty Crocker recipe anyway. So we're going to bring this back down and whisk it up some more. So we're going to do this until, oh gosh, it's going all slutty now, but it should turn out to be a ch lovely chocolatey mess once it's ready. Okay guys, so it's been in there a while and it looks super smooth and chocolatey, so we're just going to get rid of this little utensil. And then we have a pre-creased baking tin over here and it's square which is very important because we want the grass block to be square. So we're just going to pour this mixture into the cake tin and make sure it fills it all the way to the edges and make sure it's nice and smooth. So make sure it goes all the way to the corners so it's a nice full square. Oh wow, that just looks so Good, you guys. Look how perfect it looks. I think it's actually going to turn out okay. Usually when I bake, it doesn't turn out that good. But little Carly has been teaching me a few things on her baking vlogs. So I'm just going to get all of that out. Oh, chocolatey goodness. Okay, I think that's that one. So now we're just going to do the same for the other tray. And then we're going to have two bits so we'll be able to stack them and put some chocolate icing in the middle. Okay, guys, so that's another cake mix done. So we're going to... Oh, have the hair there. Uh, we're gonna pour this into the baking tray as well and make sure it's evenly spread and get all that yummy mixture out. It's gonna be so good once it's done. Okay, we're gonna grab one of my little spatulas, I think they're in the sink, and spill the rest in. We wanna get all of that good mixture out. Oh my goodness, look how yummy that looks. Nearly all there, and we get to lick the spoon. Best day ever. Okay. There we go. We're just gonna make sure that's all evenly spread. And now we're gonna put it into the oven. So it's gonna go into the oven at 180 degrees for 18 to 22 minutes, so nice and quick. So I've got my oven glove over here. My oven is all preheated. Got my fancy oven glove. And we are gonna go to town and put these in there and wait for them to be all risen and amazing. And then it's the fun part. It is the icing to make it look like a grass block. It's gonna be so cool. Okay guys, it's all finished and it smells so good. <gasps> Look at that, wow, it looks so delicious. So we're gonna take them out. I'm just gonna grab this tea towel as well. And we're gonna have to take them out and let them cool down before we can ice them so the icing doesn't all melt. So there we go. Just gonna pop that there before we take it out. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. 
Okay guys, so one came out before the other because one wasn't quite done. So we have this one that's a little bit flatter. So I think we're going to use this one as the base. And then we have this one as the top. But this one's out, been a lot, out a lot longer, so it's probably cool. So we're going to try and pop it out of the uh, baking tray. So this should be pretty easy. Let's see. So, ooh. so this is pretty good. This baking tray has like a bottom that you can just slide it on out. There we go. So that is one of our lovely base of the cake that we're gonna use today. And it's quite cool so we can start doing the middle layer of icing. So I'm gonna be using this pre-made chocolate decorating icing. So it's all ready to go. We All we have to do is so we're gonna just look, oh yummy. So literally what I'm gonna do is coat the outside. Ooh, ah, this is gonna be so yummy. I think I got two of these. So we should have more than enough. And this side. And then just squirt it through the middle and then I'm gonna spread it all out. So I'm gonna go grab the other one of these and then it's gonna look really cool. Okay guys, so we had the chocolate icing layer in the middle and now we've put the top on. So it may look a little bit messy now, but that's where our green icing comes in. So we've got some green icing to make the grass for our grass block. So we're gonna try this out. Let's see how it goes. Oh, okay, there. We're just gonna keep on doing that all around the edge to make it look like grass. And then it will look like a grass block and our cake will be completed. So it's gonna be so cute when it's done. And we can make them all different sizes cause no grass block. Well in real life anyway, probably in Minecraft they're all perfect, but usually they're not perfect. So I'm just gonna do this the whole way around. So guys, I've done the full edge and I just wanna show you guys, you could leave it here, do another layer of chocolate icing and then do a different colored icing saying happy birthday or your name or anything. But we are gonna try and make this as realistic as possible to the Minecraft block and do the whole thing. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we're just gonna squeeze all the ice into the bottom. We have a whole other tub of ice in there to use if we need. So let's keep on going. So surprise little Carly, I made you a cake. And you're gonna have it tomorrow and work and it's your happy one million subs Carly. Oh my gosh, I hope you like it. I know it looks very homemade, but seeing as you're giving me so many baking tips lately, I just wanted to make you a really cute cake for you and your Minecraft channel and you've got one million subs, woo! So this is gonna be there for you tomorrow and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And if you wanna make your own grass plot cake, you can do the same. It's very, very easy as I showed you guys. And let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the comment section below, guys. Type away, would you like to see a uh, prank wars? Would you like to see, I don't know, whatever. You leave, a guy, you leave it in the comment section. Leave loads of likes on the ideas that you like and I'll try to comment back to as much of them as possible. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat as well. But until next time guys, see you again soon.